Hello friends, welcome to CTC. Today we will see how to swap two integer number using uh, bitwise XOR operator in Java. So let's declare two variables a equals to 10, b equals to 5. We'll print it first before swapping. a equals to a and b equals to b now let's write the logic for that a equals to a so I'll put a b let's copy this as it is and change to this one so we'll print after swapping So before this we need to understand how exclusive or operator works. Let's see this. Here you can see the XOR operators table. So this is the A and B. These are the inputs and this is the output we get. If inputs are 0, 0 then output will be 0. If input is 0 and 1 then output will be 1. If both inputs are same then output will be 0 and if both uh, inputs are different then output will be one. so this way XOR operator works now we'll run this program here you can see the output a, equals, a was actually 10 b was 5 after swapping a is equals to 5 and b equals to 10 so let's see in detail how we got this output and how it works as you know that in our program we have a equals to 10 and b equals to 5 we need to convert it to the binary so a equals to 1010 and b becomes 101. Let's write the logic which we use in our program. Here we will write the value which of a and b which we get after the execution of each step. Now let's see step 1. a equals to a x or b then 1010101. Here why we got 1 1 1 because you can see 0 1 that are different so we get 1 according to XOR rule 1 0 becomes 1 0 1 1 and 1 is 1 so now a equals to 1 1 1 4 times 1 that is nothing but 15 in decimal form so let's write the value of a here 15 and b as it is 5 let's go to step 2 b equals to a x or b value of a 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 now it becomes 1 0 1 0 because 1 1 becomes 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 as it is 1 so now b equals to 1 0 1 0 that is nothing but 10 so let's write a as it is 15 and b will be 10 now let's go to the step 3 a equals to a x or b now we get uh, 1 0 1 that is nothing but uh, 5 so a equals to 5 b as it is 10 so this way you can use xor operator to swipe two integer numbers and if you want to reduce this uh, number of lines then you can uh, write that code in two lines i'll show you how so you have to write this code using uh, um, compound assignment operator like this b okay now we got the first one then b x or equals to using compound assignment now a equals to b we'll comment this part and let's see the output see we got the same output this way you can reduce or maybe other logic you can use to reduce number of line but i always prefer this one because the this line or such kind of the code short code are kind of clunky that is a uh, little bit obscure hard to understand so it is better all it is always better to write uh, neat and clean code 
because it's not gonna harm if you write the code on each separate line but it will be much much easier to understand i hope this video was helpful to you please check out my other videos too and don't forget to like share subscribe for more videos it makes huge difference thank you